before we go into Photoshop though, I had downloaded the images and you can see it comes in with my username and then the, the prompts on there. I'm going to, I create an, oops, I create an archive folder and then I'm going to select all of these and then I'm going to rename these real quick just so they don't have these long names. If you hit F2 and I'm going to call this one Eric and then you hit enter, it's going to name them in sequence. So select them all, F2, and name them, and then you've got them in sequence. Now we're going to go ahead and open that up in Photoshop, and then we'll start doing some of those edits. All right, so we're in Photoshop here. You can see I've got one through five open. Um, I'm not a Photoshop pro, so I'm probably going to do things you're going to go, that's the most inefficient way to do it. That's okay. Um, that's the whole point is I'm not a Photoshop pro. I'm not an Illustrator pro. If I knew Illustrator, if I knew Photoshop better, then I could probably clean these images up so I get AI to create the core image and I can quickly modify these. But there's a few things. I'll just show you some of the types of things I do. Uh, for example, this one right here, if we zoom in, um, this finger doesn't work. I could probably change out the hand. Like I could take, I could cut this and make it look like a fist. I can take this hand, which is what I'm going to do, and then we'll put the hand over here. So first thing, let me just erase this. It doesn't have to be perfect because when we vectorize it, it's going to be cleaned up. So I'm just going to go here and just erase it. it just Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to erase this hand here. Um, just go down here into a little bit. All right. So we've got our hand erased. Now what we're going to do, let's zoom out. Um, we're going to go ahead and copy this hand here. If you can find a better hand on one of the other images, you can do that as well. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, but we're going to go ahead and copy it from this, from this image here. So let's go ahead and we can just grab this tool and we're going to copy it. I'm just going to I'm going to copy it from through the middle of the blue. All right. Control C. And then we're going to do Control V. And now we've got, we've got that hand here. Let's go ahead and move it. And you can see I can quickly put it in there. That actually looks okay. So I'm going to drop it in here. Probably don't even need to do any editing. That looks fine to me. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flatten this image. And uh, where is that flatten image at? And now I've got that image looks good to me. Um, somewhere I have to figure out like which face do I want? Do I want this just kind of get the rounded nose? This I don't really, this one might be okay. I don't really like this one reminds me of Ross from Friends. <laughs> um, this one's too exaggerated, right? And then this one, um, this one works because this because looks like it could be multiple ethnicities, right? Um, we'll just go ahead and go with the first face that I have. So I'm going to copy this, this face here. We're just going to take it. We'll cut it off at the neck here and control. Oops. I don't, let me see here. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's do this here. There's a better way to probably do that. I'm just going to copy that this way. And then we can come in here and start fixing the face. So let's go ahead and paste this in here. Um, I'm just going to do this just so you can see. I'm going to flatten this image just, um, just so you can see a few things that you can do. Um, so like if you have a head and you want the same general head, this, this works okay. These eyes are pretty close. You could use the stamp tool. Like if, like say sometimes the eyes are messed up if you have one with good eyes. You could, you could stamp it. So I could take the stamp tool here and then I just put it over the pupils and now you can see I can play around with this um, image. And again, I don't have to, I don't necessarily always have to change the image, but you can see how that works. If I want to use the same nose, you know, it's the same thing, right? I can do that here and start doing the same nose, right? come down here, clean up the mouth. And so now you can see I, I can quickly modify the image. So that's a quick way to do that. I think these images are probably close enough 
that I can get away with. Um, let me see if we can fix that nose there. Um, there, I don't necessarily have to to do that to every image, but it's a quick way to get something that's a little bit um, closer to uh, to looking like the same characters, right? Um, again, they don't have to be perfect because what you're going to find, and I'm going to keep that mouth there so it's a little bit different, and then you can change this. I'm not going to change all these images, right? But that's close enough, and then it looks like it's the same character, right? So that's one way to do that. We need to fix this hand. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this image since I flattened it. I can just come in here and we'll just delete that. All right, the other thing we can do is we can fix this hand. So what I can do is look at an image that I have here, like this hand works. This hand works. We're going to go ahead and grab this hand. Let's see if there's another one here. This hand. We're going to grab this this uh, this hand right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and we'll grab the hand. Control C. Uh, we're going to come back to this image here. Um, let's see what I'm going to do. Control V. So we've got our hand here. Let's see. We'll put it in position, and you can see. It doesn't even really require a lot of work when we get to that. So I want to turn this off. Come in here. And again, there's probably faster ways to do this. You know, I can come in and clean all this out. So I'm going to clean this tie out here. Okay. Do that. Delete that here. Oops, I'm on the wrong one. Delete that, and I'm going to fill this with the paint color, right? And now I've fixed that, and that's the same thing that we can do here. We can go through here. It doesn't have to be perfect because the hand's going to cover that. And we're going to copy that, delete that. And we're going to color pick here. And we're going to fill this here with that color. So let's see how that looks so far. Let's go ahead and then we can clean that up. Uh, we put the hand on here. We need, need to take clean up this hand and then I would I'll clean that up you don't need to watch me clean it all right so we have our hand cleaned up we have our hand here let's zoom out a little bit let's take this hand and put that in place that's going to work okay we can we can fix this um, just because uh, the the vectoring you're going to see is going to fix a lot of this but let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab my paintbrush. And we're gonna clean these lines out real quick here. Again, there's probably somebody who's in using Photoshop that's going, I can't believe you're doing it that way, Tom. I'm not a Photoshop expert. I just know just enough to get the little bit done that I need to get done. And then we're gonna do that here. Um, you can blend this if you want to, make it a little bit I'm going to draw this up a little bit so it's a little less here, a little fewer pixels right in that process. Um, you'll see how that works when we vectorize it. So it doesn't, again, doesn't have to be perfect. So that's, that's better than it was. Here I might come in and clean this, this hand out. So I'm going to erase this finger this thumb here. All right, so we've done a few edits. Um, I would go through and clean out some of these images, right? We fixed some of the faces to so the hand there. This one, we probably want to fix the faces a little bit. This one will fix the faces as well. And then um, this hand is this hand's a little bit wonky too. So we're going to copy this hand and move that over. So you kind of get the general idea. The idea is you've got some body parts. 
do some really quick editing. You don't have to be super uh, involved in the editing in terms of like making it too detailed because when we vectorize it, it's going to fix a lot of the artifacting and these weird lines. So I'll edit these and then we'll get moving. All right, so I cleaned up all the images. Um, you can see I kind of moved some hands around. Uh, I did change all the faces so they kind of look like they're the same character. Kind of modified the hands a little bit. I also cleaned out the shadow that they had, the rounded shadow at the feet. These things right here, I just kind of filled them. Oops. Let me see here. So I filled them with white. And so uh, you'll see when I vectorize them. Of course, the one I'm doing doesn't work as well. It was going really smoothly when I was doing it, but we can clean all this stuff out here. Um, we'll, we'll clean this out right here. Um, so one of the problems with these, um, these images is like, we want to clean out some of that stuff. I'm going to just take the eraser tool real quick. Again, there's probably always faster ways to do that. Um, that looks fine. I don't know if there's like a haloing somewhere in there. I think there is, right? Very slight halo. Um, cause we're gonna, we're gonna clean out the vectors here. I can see that's just a little bit right there. And we'll vectorize these images and then we can, uh, get really nice clean images. All right. So that's what you want to do. Clean these images up. You know, it takes some time. Sometimes the images are easier than others. Um, I don't know if there's something in the middle there. That's probably fine. Sometimes the e images are really easy to clean up. Um, sometimes they take a little bit of time. But when you think about it, you're getting like 15 really nice uh, vector images that you can use. And then if you do have some weird stuff you can't clean, I don't bother fixing all that stuff. I might just crop the image. Like if this person's hand was weird, I just crop the images. Maybe I can just use the head. Uh, so just, you know, you, you're not limited to to just what you can see. You can crop it, you can cover it with like a poster or, or different things that you might be doing in your courses. So now we have our images. Um, you can see here's where I, I haven't done this yet. So let me show you how I did this. Brought these images in here. I'm gonna flatten them. Again, there's probably a better way to do that. And then I'm just gonna use the stamp tool to fix that. I thought I had already fixed all the images. So I'm just going to clean these up real quick and you can see uh, how that works. And then I, I'll have an image that works here. We're going to copy this nose too. So it's all kind of the same nose. Um, you'll see I get some artifacting. That's all right. I'm going to, I'm going to fix that here. We'll just go ahead and fix that. Actually, it's not really what I wanted to do, but we'll fix it. All right. And then I'm going to fix this eye here. I don't know why the nose, the nose, everything kind of just shifted, but that's all right. All right. Um, that looks good enough here. And then we're going to do the same thing here. It doesn't have to be perfect um, because a lot of that will get fixed in the vectorization, which you'll see, right? Let's see if we can fix this nose. Sometimes it's a little off. There's a shift. I'm going to keep the mouth the same. We're not going to worry about that. Same thing here. We're going to stamp, fix the eye here. This probably could work, um, but we'll just fix it anyway. And again, doesn't have to be perfect. Um, this will clean up here. This eye is kind of swept up. All right. Good enough. Um, if you want to fix the skin tone here, I notice you can do a color pick. And then we'll just fix that here. If you want to, you can come in, you know, change the mouths and stuff. That doesn't really matter. We don't care about this being perfect because when we vectorize it, it's going to be done. So once we've done this, the next step is we want to 
upscale these and then we're going to crop them into separate images and I'll do that next. <laughs> 